Hey love bugs, it's your girl JC Cutie coming to you guys with another video. Hope all is well. It's been a minute since I've done a video, so I decided to go ahead and shoot one out to you guys. Um this video is gonna be a small haul and then a real quick glimpse into my lipstick lip gloss lip balm collection it's not gonna be my entire collection because i have way too many to do an entire collection this is just gonna be um a couple of my lipsticks that i tend to wear more during the fall i mean i'm sorry that i tend to wear more during the spring and summer months um i have to put my lipsticks and stuff in rotation because i have quite a few i don't have like thousands or anything like that but i do have quite a few lipsticks and um it's surprising to me because if you go back to my old 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 videos my first one of my first videos was a makeup collection video and i had like two lipsticks because i really did not like lipstick all i had was a whole bunch of lip glosses but now through the evolution evolution of my um self and me maturing and stuff like that i'm tending to lean more towards the lipsticks and stuff like that because i like that color without all that extra gloss and stuff like that so really quickly quick quick haul um first place it's only one place four items first i'm going to show you guys are these two revlon lipsticks that i picked up from cvs everything came from cvs i'm about to show you um for the haul part of this video um they had their Revlon products, buy one, give them 50% off. And I went to the little coupon stand and I had a 50% off, no, I had a $3 off coupon. So I got both these lipsticks for nine bucks, which really isn't too, too bad. Um, and this is what they look like. The first one is called Stormy Pink, and I put it on as soon as I left the store. So that's actually what I have on my lips right now. And this is Stormy Pink. It's just a really pretty, like, pink color. Very, very pretty. Great for the, um, springtime and it's a matte lipstick and it's very very pretty i really really like this lipstick um yeah i really like this lipstick it's really really pretty i love revlon's matte lipsticks they're not super duper drying like the wet and wild matte lipsticks to me the wet and wild matte lipsticks are a tad bit drying well not really drying they're just a really they just have a really dry consistency so if your lips are not really really exfoliated or anything like that you could possibly have problems with those so i picked that one up and then the next one i picked up is called pink pout and this is a matte as well and it looks like this and pink pout is a very pretty pink as well very pretty pink and that's what that pink pout looks like very pretty colors i love revlon lipsticks um i don't have a whole lot of revlon lipsticks but the ones that i do have i enjoy quite a bit so if you've never tried revlon lipsticks you guys should probably go ahead and try them out because they're really really good um and then the next two things i bought are were just the wet and wild uh spring edition the little eight pan palettes i bought um nude awakening and going wild which are the only two that they have for this for this spring collection so i went on ahead and picked these two up um yeah i own i think i own majority of the eight pound palettes the only one i don't have is drinking a glass of shine i think that's what that one was called and the only reason why i don't have that one is because that was exactly the same thing as i heart matte so i and i already owned that one so there was no need for me to get another one so anyway got these two and so those are those and now on to lipsticks and lip glosses that i own that i tend to wear more during the spring time a couple of these are new but i know they're going to be great for my spring for the spring and summertime uh, this first one is by jazz and it's a lip gloss this one doesn't have a name on it but it looks like this and it's just a really pretty like purple color it's very sheer but when you put it on top of something like a nude lipstick it gives it like a pinky purpley tint or something so anyway but that's it right there as you guys can see it's very very nude but i do like it the next one is this ioni lip gloss this is in the color cappuccino it's um it's a nude lip gloss i really like this lip gloss i wear it a lot i remember when i first bought it i couldn't get enough of it but it's that one right there very pretty the next lip gloss that i wear um well that i will be wearing a lot is going to be pink candy i think that's what it's called and this is an elf glossy gloss and it smells like candy it smells really good it's like a pinkier version of cappuccino it's very pretty and that one is the last swatch down here another one is this um knockoff matte plush glass and this is called full for you yeah full for you is what it's called 
Um, and it's a knockoff Mac plush glass. I got it at the. Where did I get this? I don't remember where I got this. I don't know. All I know is that it's not real. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, it looks like that. And I really like this one. Um, the next one is going to be this Style Style Gloss Plastique. Um, and this is in Tango. And it's a very gorgeous orange color. And I got this from Big Lots for a dollar. It's very, very pretty. Orange lip gloss. And Tango is right there. Another one that I really like is this Sephora lip gloss. Um, yeah. And this is called Golden Embrace. And it looks like this. Very pretty orange. I got this, I think about a year or so ago. It's very um, sheer. But if you put it over a pretty orange color lipstick, it's really pretty. Anyway, and so that one's that one right there. Another lip gloss that I like for this time of the year. Um, this is a Revlon hip lip gloss, and this is an inviting. It's a really pretty nude lip glo lip gloss. I love using this on top of my nude lips, my nude lip sticks and stuff like that. It's very pretty, and that one right there is called inviting. And then the next one and the last one I'm going to show you guys for my lip glosses is going to be Dolly. And this is what Dolly looks like. And this is by Ani Cosmetics as well. If you live, um, I think, majority of the times I see them, they're like in the south. So if you live in an area where you have a Fred's Super Pharmacy or Super Dollar Store, whatever it's called, it's Fred's, um, check them out because they sell the Ani Cosmetics and these are only a dollar. And that one is right here. And once again, this one is called Dolly, and I really like this one. So those are just a couple of the lip glosses that I will be wearing this spring, and I still have plenty more in this container. Um, oh, another one. No, I'm not going to mention that one because uh, I don't know how to feel about it yet. The Wet n Wild Mega Last um, lip color, liquid lip colors. I don't know how I, I don't know how I feel about these yet. This one is in the color Back to the Fuchsia, and I got it for like a dollar, so that's why I picked it up. But yeah, I don't know how I feel about that it's completely yet. Okay. Now on to a couple of lipsticks that I will probably be rocking a lot this spring. This first one in summer is called Brazen Berry. And this is number 905 by Maybelline. Absolutely positively love this lipstick. I'm so happy I bought it. It was $5.50 at Walmart. And I had a dollar off coupon. So I only spent like $4.50 on it. And it's very, very pretty. And this is Brazen Berry right here. I wear this one a lot. A lot. Another one I'm probably wearing a lot are probably going to be the two that I just bought, especially Stormy Pink. Oh, this one is so pretty. I love this lipstick, and I just purchased it, but I already know it's going to be one of my go-tos. And Stormy Pink is that one right there. Oh, I'm going to love it. Next one is going to be this Milani Lip Flash, and this is an Inner Flash, and it's just a pretty purple. I love purple lipsticks and lip colors and lip glosses and I just love purple as a cosmetic color it's not my favorite like color color but like for cosmetics I love purple I love purple eyeshadows I love purple eyeliners purple lips like purple is like has been like my go-to cosmetic color and that's in a flash right there it's very pretty this is a very pretty lavender color oh my gosh I love this color and this is called pansy petal and this is a covergirl smoothers lip color I bought this from Dollar Tree like a year ago or so and this is just such a gorgeous lavender metallic -y color I love it so much it's actually a lilac -y lavender type color and that's it right there so gorgeous and it only cost me a dollar honey love it love it love it I hear um, orange. I love oranges, so I'm going to show you my oranges real quick. This one right here is called Power Orange, and this is by Nika K. I haven't used it very often, but at the beauty supply store for like a dollar, I want to say. And it's a very pretty orange. It's like a bang orange. I love this orange. And it's called Power Orange, and it's by Nika K. And it's right here. Really, really like that color. The next orange I'm going to show you guys is by um, Wet n Wild. And this is called 24 Karat Gold. Carrot with a C. And it's another very pretty orange color. And that's it right there. 
I love orange lips and I love um pink lips and I love purple lips and I love peach lips and I love coral lips especially for the last summer time that's that one I know I have a couple more oranges in here what is this no let's try this one okay this one right here is called mandarina and this is by uh this is by Milani but this has been discontinued um because as we all know Everybody's been getting those perfect pretty pout bags or whatever to do reviews on for us. So we all know that this particular packaging and lipsticks have been discontinued. But I really like this color. And it's right here. Very gorgeous orange color. Love it, love it, love it. Um, the next one is going to be... Do, 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 do. Where is it? Okay, this one is by Sephora. And this is called Sunset Rhythm. That's a very gorgeous orange color. Um, I believe this one has been discontinued as well because I bought it in the clearance section. But it's still a very pretty matte orange color. And that's that one right there. Very pretty. The next one is also going to be an orange-ish color. And this is called Siren by Revlon. Looks like this is a very pretty orange color. This was like the first orangey color that I ever bought. And this orange is more like a, I don't know what kind of orange this is, but it's a pretty orangey color, orange-ish color. And that's that right there. Um, okay. Next one, gonna be Party Persimmon by Wet n Wild. And Party Persimmon is a pretty a uh, red orange color it's very very gorgeous I've heard it being compared to so shod by Mac as well as one of the ones that came out with the um, hey sailor collection and this one is that one right there that's um, pretty persimmon okay into corally type colors this one right here is gonna be ca it's called coral berry and this is by Revlon and this is a cream lipstick and it's very pretty as well um yeah it looks really gorgeous it looks like this this one is going to be called pink in the afternoon i love this lipstick this is by um uh revlon as well and this is a cream and pink in the afternoon is very gorgeous and this is it right there love this color this is pink in the afternoon back into the purples this one is called berry hot by revlon i love this lipstick you guys oh my gosh i love it love it love it i was on the hunt for this lipstick forever then i finally broke down and bought it because it was at cvs walgreens big big lots it was at big lots for like a dollar so i bought like four of them and ended up giving three of them away i'm sad should have kept them but anyway it's still available in the regular um retail stores but anyway that's what that one looks like really gorgeous um another purpley color um, 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 um this is gonna be great teeny this is by um milani as well once again this is another one that has been discontinued anyway and this is what great teeny looks like it's right there it's a purple with yellow undertones, so it kind of, or goldy undertones in it, so like it kind of mutes it, so it's not too powerful. Um, let's see, let's see. Okay, this one I love. This one is called Perfectly Pink, and this is by Maybelline. And I bought this at the Dollar Tree a couple of, um, about, I think it was last year, not last year, two years ago. This was very pretty as well, and this is. I just love this pink. This is like the perfect pink. Like they picked the perfect name for this lipstick. And this right here is called Perfectly Pink. It's next to whatever that Berry Holt. And it's right there. And it's so gorgeous, you guys. Oh, I just love that pink. Love it, love it, love it. Another one of those that, um, one of these that I got from the Dollar Tree is this one right here and this is called what color is this caribbean coral and it's a pretty corally orange type color 
very very pretty very pretty another orangey type color you guys like I told you guys I love oranges and that's it right there very pretty color this next one is going to be called Coral Crush. And this is what Coral Crush looks like. And this is a Maybelline Shine Sensational Lipstick. I don't know if this is the ones that has been discontinued or what. But it's a very pretty color. I just hauled this one not too long ago. And I've worn it like twice and I really like it. But that one's it right there. This one right there. Can you guys see that? I hope you guys can see that. Um... The next one is going to be Blissful Berry, which is a dark color. And I really don't tend to wear dark colors in the springtime, but I really like this one. So I could see myself wearing this one in the springtime, even though it is dark. This is another Maybelline Sunshine, Shine Sensational. And that's it right there, Blissful Berry. I'm um, probably going to show maybe two or three more. Okay, maybe like four more. Maybe four more, okay? This one right here is called Fifth Avenue Fuchsia. And this is what this looks like. And it's very pretty. Um, yeah, very, very gorgeous. I have to start swatching on this side. And that's Fifth Avenue Fuchsia. Very pretty. Once again, it's another Maybelline Shine Sensational Lipstick. Next one is going to be called is Divine. And this is what Divine looks like. And this is my cover girl. A lot of people call it Divine Divine. Divine. I would swatch it, but this one stains really bad. So I'm not going to swatch it. It looks just like how it looks in the tube. Um, so yeah. Love Divine. And this is my cover girl. Okay, another one that I'm liking is going to be a matte lipstick, and I wore this one last night, and oh my gosh, this gave me so much life. This is the Kate Moss in the number 14, it looks like this. Oh my gosh, this lipstick gave me life, like so much life, and it's just a nude, but it was giving me everything that I needed last night. That's what it looked like, that's what it looks like, it's just so gorgeous. Love it, love it, love it. This is called Casino Pink. I love this color, y'all. Look how bright that is. It is so pretty. Oh my gosh. I love this color. And this is called Casino Pink. And this is Casino Pink right here. It is just gorgeous. I love this pink, y'all. I love this pink. And it's right there. This next one is another Ioni Cosmetics um, lip product. And this is... Uh, this is called Koi. And it looks like this. And when I first got this one, I loved it. hate the smell. Oh, hate the smell but it's a very gorgeous color and this is what koi looks like right the i love this color so pretty um the next one is another um milani lipstick and this is in the color rose hip it looks like this um i've heard this be compared to candy yum yum only difference is this is not really a true matte this is a cream lipstick but it's very very pretty and this is Rose Hip by Milani. This one I know is still available. They just have it in the new packaging. So I didn't bother to go out and get it because I had it in the old packaging. So yeah, and this is Rose Hip right there. It's very pretty. Um, the next one is a classic red for me. And this is um really red by Revlon. And this is a matte. And I've heard this be compared to Ruby Woo by MAC. So yeah. And that's what really where it looks like. And red can be worn year round. Spring, summer, fall, and winter. Red is like, red goes nowhere. I love it. Um, next one is by NYX Cosmetics. This is called Hot Pink. Now this one I'm definitely going to have to like tweak a little bit. Because when I put this on my lips, I look a plum idiot. Yeah, I look a plum fool with this on my lips. Um, by itself. So this is it right there. And once again, this is called Hot Pink, and this is by NYX or NYX. And then the last one by NYX is called Re, R-E-A, Rhea, Re, whatever. And um, it's another nude color, and I just love nudes right now. Hopefully you guys will be able to see this one. And that's it right there. Very gorgeous. So 
that is it for my lip stickers that I'm feeling um that I'm that I think I'm really gonna be feeling for the spring I still have plenty more that I probably will be wearing this spring but like this video is probably already close to 30 minutes long so I'm gonna go ahead and end it right here oh wait I have a couple more fern my wet and wild lipsticks I don't know how I could like miss these pretty much my entire wet and wild mega last lipstick collection I'll be wearing this summer, spring summer time this one is called dumpling pink which is really gorgeous 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 pink and that's don't blink pink um i think that's the only one i'm gonna show you oh and this one by um fergie i love this one this is um what is this fusionista love this color like really love this color and this is that one very pretty color love it anyway so yeah i got all these and um yeah and then of course i'm really gonna be into my lip balm especially ones with spf because that summer is a blaze so i have my baby lips i'm gonna be wearing my yes to carrots i'm gonna be wearing my bath and body works uh what is this co bigelow organic lip products i'm gonna be wearing my aquafina lip products my simply my soft lips you name it it's gonna be in here i'm also gonna be rocking my lip scrub to help exfoliate these crusty lips because in the summertime i tend to wear brighter colors so you can really see dry chapness on your lips a lot more in the summertime than as opposed to in the wintertime when you're sticking with like the darker colors the flakes and stuff on your lips really don't show up too too hot um in the summertime i mean with the dark lips with the dark lips you really can't tell too too much but anyway so that's pretty much it you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this long video if you have any questions or anything like that just let me know um real quick what's on my face nothing um lies told on twitter um on my lips i'm wearing the stormy pink like i told you guys earlier um on my lips and on my face i'm just wearing my usual concealer powder routine uh my usual concealer powder routine i filled in my eyebrows a little bit with the uh eyeshadow powder and on my lids i'm wearing urban decay's half baked yeah urban decay's half baked with the brown from the one with the with the brown from the elf 100 piece eyeshadow palette in my crease and that's pretty much it and then on my lower lash line i think i'm wearing flip side by urban decay and yeah that's pretty much it you guys so i hope you guys enjoyed this video until next time many kisses bye